I don't know if I got any thoughts to share with you. I'm I'm as disappointed as I've ever been since I've been the coach here. How how big were those turnovers early on? And then you mentioned that you were worried about your uh, special teams, especially your, your kicking game, all preseason, all the way. Up. Turnovers hurt. Their first two touchdowns came off of turnovers. Didn't need them. Didn't mean they needed to score, but they did. And they're up 14 to nothing off of two two turnovers. How many fumbles we have? Eight. It's pathetic. I mean, that's just it's embarrassing, is what it is. Coach, in the third quarter, uh, tough goings on offense. I think it was like 40 yards of offense. Yeah, they whipped our fannies. What were they doing? Uh, did they whipping our fannies? We had, what, 72 yards of rushing in the second half. We're at Georgia Southern. If we can't run the ball more than that, we deserve to lose. We got our butts kicked. Was there any thought of putting Jarek in there? Did you feel like it was a problem with, with, with Izzy in particular, or, or what? Got to block. Got to block and sustain blocks, period. They beat blocks. They whipped us. So you guys approach the off week as a going back to training? I mean, we just get back to the basics? We approach every week that way. Every week we, we, we coach its fundamentals. Blocking, tackling, taking care of the ball. I mean, that's all we do is coach that. Did you feel like they were focused? Do you feel like anything in particular led to something like this happening out here today? Yeah, they whipped our butts. What do you want me to say? I thought our kids were ready. I thought they were excited to play. I thought they were motivated to play. I thought we played with good effort. We missed assignments. We missed tackles. We didn't sustain blocks. We fumbled the ball eight times. We can't line up and kick a field goal. I, we kicked the ball out of bounds twice. I mean, it's a calamity of errors. What do you want? I mean, it's just, I got nothing good to say. Does it make it even harder? Because normally when you get a game like this, you can put it behind you and play the next week. Now you have to wait an extra week. Does that make it more difficult, or are you glad you had an extra Two weeks is painful to have to live with this, no doubt about it. As poorly as we played, I thought we had a chance to win a football game. We did, and we gave ourselves a chance to win a football game. We didn't get it done. And we're just going to have to work hard and, uh, and find a way to win in two weeks. And that's, that's all we can do. It, Put this one behind us, try to learn from it, and move on to the next one. Yeah, Coach, you have that play with the handoff to, to Jarek, who kind of had the option to pitch, ran it uh, two or three times, and uh, JB, Jarek, and Izzy all made plays with that play. Talk about the playmakers getting you down the field and getting in the end zone for the go-ahead touchdown. Yeah, if we, uh, if we pitch the thing a little bit earlier on the one where he bats it up in the air, probably scores. If we sustain a block on another one, he probably scores. I mean, it's just it's just an option play like any other option play. And we just didn't execute it all the way through and, and score on it. And uh, we had a lot of plays that could have could have gained a bunch of yards and, you know, you get a block here or block there, or just disappointing. What were your thoughts on the pass interference call there on their, uh, on their last drive? What are your thoughts on it? Looked like it might have been overthrown. Write that. I don't know. <laughs>